Welcome to Access Austin. Today I want to cover a relatively new app called Otter AI, which provides live transcription for all meetings, interviews, anything. It can identify multiple speakers and it is able to provide this transcription in real time and create a searchable transcript after the fact. I'm going to provide some demo videos that you can look at. Right now, Otter AI is providing about 600 minutes, which is about six hours of transcription for free, which is really great. And they have very cheap per month plans you can sign on to as well. And more colleges and universities are considering using Otter AI as a transcription tool. Otter AI can be used at a college or university in lieu of a note-taking accommodation. There could be an accommodation for transcription using Otter AI and more ed tech or educational technology centers at colleges and universities are considering adding Otter AI and live transcription as part of the PAP technology package that they provide students. So let's check out Otter AI and the different features that it has available. So you can get Otter AI from the Google Play Store or from the App Store. I just downloaded it for iOS from the App Store. I'm gonna open the app. You'll be first asked to sign in. I already have an account with them, but you can create an account with Otter AI or use your Gmail to quickly sign on. Once you do, what you'll kind of notice is that all your conversations show up under this My Conversations and you can search for whatever recording you're looking for. You can also actually add previous audio or video recordings by clicking on this little share button on the top and you can select a recording to add. So I could go into my uh, iCloud and find a recording that I want to import into Otter AI to get to get captioning or transcription. You can also click on the little menu option to see your conversations, what conversations have been shared with me. You can create groups, folders. You can you know move conversations to trash and see all your conversations and go into the different settings. In the settings, there's really you know, setting the notifications and things like that, setting up a Surrey shortcut. So there's some nice little features, you add on features that you can use. What I really wanna cover for this particular video is just the live transcription recording. The best way to do that is to click on this blue button right here, and it'll just start instantly doing uh, live transcription for whatever you are saying. Basically, it just captions what's being said. And what makes this very unique is unlike YouTube captions, for example, this does include punctuation. So you will notice things like commas and periods. And I think that is really a very cool thing that Otter AI provides and makes it unique compared to the competition. Some other things you can do while it's recording, if you wanted to have it pause, you could click on the pause button and it would pause. And then you could click on the recording mic button again, it would resume doing the recording. The other features that you can do if you have a sentence and it's like, wow, this is really important or I'm gonna use this, click that highlight button, it will highlight the previous sentence and then you can have it be highlighted in your transcript to quickly find it. You can also take pictures. So if you want to add a picture or something or like, oh, I'm gonna need this, I could take a picture. I'm just gonna take a picture of this uh, white back, this background and say, sure, use the picture. And now there's a picture connected with the event too. And I could you know, add a title for that if I wanted to. So it's nice to um, be able to have all that be added. I'm sorry. I could actually add the title for the conversation. But in any case, as this continues, um, you know, whenever, it's, whenever you finish uh, doing the recording, you'll click the stop button to stop it. You could then also, as you saw on the far left, there's that plus icon to share. You, can, you could share afterwards. So if I go to my recordings right now, or my conversations, here's the conversation with the highlight and with the picture. And what I could do is go and share this with someone so I could put in their name, Gmail, whatever, and send it to them. I can even set the range I want. You could also actually start going into the transcription um, if I click on this edit button and um, I can, oh, I think, I think let me go back one second here. If I click on this edit button, I can go in and I can start to uh, edit the different words that were being used and start changing the transcription if I notice something is wrong, which I think is really cool. Um, 
I'm going to go back here. And then the, the last thing I really want to um, point out too is you can do the export. So you could export, you could see like, for example, a word cloud. So these are all the unique words that I used in that little conversation. I could also uh, go in and export this as a um, audio file or text file. If you have a paid account, you have more options like PDF even an SRT file for captioning. So I think that is really cool. And I'm actually gonna talk about that in a future video. But at this point, those are some of the main features of using the mobile app. And now I'm gonna go into the desktop app. I am now accessing Otter AI through a web browser. What I really wanna point out here is that you are able to see all the conversations that you've uploaded to Otter AI, the Otter AI's transcription improves over time. So if you give it a couple hours, it will run it further through its algorithm and the transcription quality may improve from the initial live transcription that you're seeing. You can also go and do a quick recording by clicking this record button. It will use the computer microphone to record. You can do import audio and video. So you can add anything from your computer that's audio or video up into Otter AI to get live transcription. And when you click on one of the recordings, you're able to see all the keywords. You can also go in and search. So if I click on the search bar, I can search for a word like passion and you'll see all the matches that will show up for that, which is pretty cool. Those are some of like the main features with it. You can also will detect multiple speakers. So if I had a second speaker, you could be putting in a picture um, for that second speaker and you could jump back and forth, which is kind of cool. You can add custom vocabulary too, but basically those are kind of a brief overview of some of the main features of Otter AI. And I just think it's a really cool program that you should check out. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching Access Austin. My name is Austin and I work full time as an assistive technology coordinator and I am dedicating most of my free time to producing content for this YouTube channel. If you are enjoying the videos, please consider becoming a Patreon backer. The link is in the description. If you have any accessibility needs or questions relating to assistive technology, accommodations or website and PDF accessibility, please contact me at accessaustin at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and please like, comment and subscribe and tune into the next video.